All right, another tutorial. This one is on the film look. So we've got Kelly Taylor in this one. We have the raw image. We have a, a screenshot from her Instagram. I'm gonna try to recreate the edit and I'll go over key things to get the film look. Like there's some things I see in every single YouTube tutorial I have to do or every single guest editor in the course. There is very common patterns I see in the film look that we will cover this tutorial. So she's a wedding photographer. Hi guys, my name is Kaylee Taylor. I am a destination wedding photographer based out of Jacksonville, Florida. I particularly like her style because she goes for a very filmic look warm tones most of the time sometimes there's a lot of green and we're trying to get those filmic colors that come from film in digital so kelly's a guest editor just one of the 100 guest editors in the course so she's teaching i think four images she takes you through step by step with the raw image and the lesson so you can follow along step by step on how she particularly edits and what I particularly really liked about her lessons was how she matches it with her film because she shoots film at the same time as digital and then how she matches the digitals to the film so I particularly really liked her lessons for the digital images so this image here is a photo that was shot on portrait 400 so this is 35 millimeter film so I'm actually gonna be using that as a reference to edit this image here, which is a raw photo that is digital. She really, really brought back their skin, skin tones really well and emulated film very, very well in that lesson in particular. So I myself am learning a lot from these photographers. It's how I am getting better myself in my own editing is actually learning from such talented people such as Kelly Hemp. We have the raw image. Do our best to recreate what she's got on her Instagram. Okay, and as for settings for this, it was 30 millimeters, uh, two point Point eight shutter eight thousand because it's very bright two point eight so we they sort of stand out from the background there and ISO eight hundred would but yeah I think she shoots digital with Canon uh, was taken on the Sigma twenty four to seventy so if we just reset you'll be able to see the cropping the original crop we are gonna punch in and make it a square and if you're just wondering about the bird there is another image that she must have um, layer the photos or she photoshopped this bird into the other shot but we won't worry about that so we've got the raw image here and if we just click this is the final edit so we've got to add a lot of smoothness green tones warmth so there is probably four key adjustments to getting the film look so so i'd say every time i see a film look because there's probably eight guest editors or if not ten in the course almost all of them highlights down whites down and then the next thing I see all the time with film looks is just a pretty general S curve. Uh, whites down quite a bit. There is a lot of blooming going on by the lifting of the mid-tones. And then there's a bit of contrast in the darker areas. And we get that shine to the blacks. So your, your image doesn't come off so digital. And the lowering of the whites to really smooth out your image make sure there's not too much contrast heavy contrast and then if we just bring down the saturation you can already see we're getting some nice results uh, let's just actually lower the warmth a little because we're going to add in a lot of warmth of split toning uh, let's up exposure okay we're going to come to split toning because this is maybe where we get most of our colors so I'm gonna go shadows. Let's get that. So it's like a greeny yellow into the shadows. Uh, you don't see too much of it right now. And then in the highlights, just a tiny bit of blue. Let's go for two, three, four. And depending on the photo, depending on the brightness, depending on everything, sometimes you put the blue in the shadows, sometimes you'll have to work in the midtones. So that's why I emphasize understanding color. You obviously have to make all these adjustments to balance colors. A lot of people just think because they've got the preset, they're sussed. They do get you quite far, but you, you also need to understand. Um, just back up top, if we just fine tune a few things up here, maybe contrast uh, 
I'm gonna add in more greens. As I said, her style has a lot of greens. So just pulling the purples out. Okay, an important part is gonna be saturation of colors. So we obviously really need to bring down those greens, uh, the yellows, and we want some oranges to pop. So there's like some oranges in the rocks and the skin tone. So we'll bring that up a bit. Keep the blues down. Maybe a little slight shine to the yellows, only a little bit. And then slight adjustments to get the right tone of orange and yellow. And then the greens to go a little more blue. Uh, grain while we come down here let's just bump it quite high up I'm gonna go with a large size and roughness quite high as well I think really big grain can really take out the sharpening make your image look a lot softer in a good way okay we're gonna come back up top and I think we're, we're gonna come back up top I'm just gonna soften it a bit with dehaze down and let's do some vibrance to make some colors really shine. Okay, um, let's bring down the whites more. Okay, so the thing I see is like, there's, obviously, there's just too much contrast and stuff. So now we're just gonna work with this curve to get really smooth, consistent uh, lighting or contrast throughout the image. So I'm gonna bring this point down, smooth it out. And maybe less contrast. I'm gonna come more into the middle. Maybe this up higher. Yeah, something like that. Kind of close. I think um, I want some more blues in the shadows. So I might just go the tiniest bit in the blacks, maybe. So this is what the curves are doing. Obviously play a really big role. You've got to learn what the curves are doing. Um, I kind of want to bring the whites down more. Maybe the highlights. Or there's just too much shine to the brighter parts of the rocks and the dress and stuff like that. So maybe we need more warmth. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Just just by guessing really quickly, her sky looks a touch brighter out here. Maybe there's this radial filter she put in to make more sunshine coming from the left side. Maybe the dehaze needs to come up, and we I think yeah. Otherwise possibly possibly but yeah um that's just my little guess and trying to recreate what she's got reset and after a little bit of shine maybe a shadow but then more dehaze this contrast highlights and whites but yeah I'll just leave it there that's my my wee guess about what she's maybe done but if you want to learn directly from her her and a few other really talented wedding photographers are teaching in the course so our main takeaways from this uh, filmic look highlights and whites down I see very very often and a curve like this where it's very smooth very long only two points and then a decent fade and a decent uh, cap off to the whites very often see that and then the desaturation and then the, and then making those uh, greens very warm but a bit blue so they've got the greens go very warm because of all the split toning the warmth up here but then you give them a touch of moving this way and then and then that can really make sure they're not going too orange but 
and then desaturating those greens very 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 common um, yeah and then a good amount of grain because we want that filmic soft luxury filmic vibe going on I don't shoot weddings but I still love to learn from wedding photographers because they very often go for a filmic look in a very fine art look to their um, editing and that type of editing that type of look looks great on any style you shoot landscapes anything portraits lifestyle I love looking at wedding how wedding photographers edit even though I don't shoot wedding as always comment who you want to see on these YouTube tutorials I just released a new preset pack that I haven't talked about all right so here's how to use the presets you're going to get and say goodbye to presets in general because these aren't actually presets um, watch the free trainings if you want to learn the curves and color i think my next post will be a video i'm going photo video photo video each post now okay so as a filmmaker or someone who loves making videos you're gonna be come across shooting cars at some point follow me on instagram follow the course instagram page but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one